Hi, this is Steve. Welcome to the most incredible countdown numbers game ever uh, explanation video. Um, you've probably seen this on YouTube. The player chooses all four numbers from the top row, 25, 50, 75 and 100. This means that he's got to make 952, but he's only got two random numbers picked, which happen to be three and six. Now, it seems really restrictive to choose all those top row numbers, but in actual fact, you can divide the larger numbers into themselves to make more smaller numbers. So here's how you would make one, two, three and four, for example. This means that when the player's working out the solution, they can keep in mind that they have the opportunity to have all these other smaller numbers. Also, you can multiply a small number by using those large numbers, and this is the key to what he does. So I'll explain that in a little bit more detail. Now we know, for example, that 75 divided by 25 is 3. So if you take any number and you multiply that number by 75 and then immediately divide it by 25, that's the same as multiplying your original number by 3 in the first place. To show you an example of that, if we start with the number 10, 10 multiplied by 75 is 750. If we divide that by 25, then our result is 30, and 10 multiplied by 3 is also 30. So because 25 divides into 75 by 3, we can multiply our number by 3 using the 75 and the 25 in that way. So what the player does is they do a traditional sort of countdown solution, and they come up with this, 100 plus 6 is 106, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, take off 2. So these highlighted numbers here are the numbers that we need to make from the large numbers. We need a 3 and we need a 2. Now we can do that quite easily. We know that 3, we can use the 75 and the 25 to make it, and we know that 2, we can use the 50 and the 25 to make it. The problem is we've only got 125, so we need to do the two pieces of maths at the same time. So looking at the original solution that we just had, we need to first of all sort out where that 3 is going to come from, that second uh, 3, and also we need to make sure we take off the 2 at the end. So what we do is we use our 25 and our 75 to make that second 3. So we know now that we're going to get our, to our total of 954. But the problem we've got is we need to subtract the 2 and we've already used the 25. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our original line and before we do the division by 25 we're going to take off the 50. Then we divide by 25 and that's our solution. It's interesting to note that when he's explaining the solution to Carol and she's trying to write it, at the point where they multiply by 75, he doesn't know what the answer is, and Carol tries to work it out, and I think somebody might whisper in her ear to tell her that it's 23,000 odd. But the point is that the contestant doesn't know what 318 multiplied by 75 is, because all he's really doing is multiplying it by 3 and subtracting 2. He's just having to do both bits of maths at the same time. So I hope that makes sense, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you soon. Bye.